My name is Sadiq Babalala. I'm originally from Nigeria, and I'm a first year student uh, in the chemistry PhD graduate program. I'm a new member of um, Tetracovas lab, and I'll be working on protein degraders. The title of my research is Organic Synthesis of Test Protein Degraders and Nucleoside Analogs. This research is based on proximity inducing, which simply means a small molecule induces proximity between two proteins. So in this case, e 3 ligase and a protein of interest. So this proximity that is being induced causes a hypocutination of the protein of interest and subsequently degradation of the protein of interest. Particularly in, in this lab, we focus on TET proteins because they are important epigenetic regulators and they've been found to be important in several diseases, especially cancer diseases. For instance, TET1 and 3 have been shown to be overexpressed in um, leukemia, uh, triple negative breast cancer, and some other cancers, while TET2 has been shown to be mutated in uh, leukemia. Currently, we have a lead compound that we are investigating. This compound has been shown to degrade TET3, so we are investigating its degradation ab ability against TET1 and also to determine its um, e 3 ligase that, that is recruited during the degradation process, also to determine the binding site on TET protein, and also to develop new analogs to get a um, drug candidate or clinical candidate. This program is multidisciplinary, so I'll be using organic synthesis, and chemical biology, and medicinal chemistry. Essentially, I'll be performing synthesis of new analogs and uh, probes and also be investigating their activity in cells using um, proteomics, gel, electrophoresis, western blotting, and um, some other biological experiment uh, techniques such as a knockdown and overexpression. This project is very important because it will serve as alternative um, therapy for patients with such diseases like uh, leukemia. So our goal for this project is to discover efficacious candidates that can progress into clinical trial. Tejakova's lab is a great place to learn. Personnel and uh, students are very kind and they are helpful and they are able, they are expertise in their field. So, and uh, we work collaboratively. So it's been a, a good experience being part of that group. They are always willing to guide you and also help you through troubleshoot whatever problem you are facing. Uh, it's a very good environment to work and also learn and grow. Very importantly, when I joined Tetrakova's lab, I only joined with interest. She realized this interest of mine and gave me a project that aligned with my research interest. She didn't actually stop there. She guided me to develop my hypothesis, so she never condemned any ideas of mine that I may bring to the table. Rather, she uh, objectively assess it and also see whether they are feasible. She asks thoughtful questions that actually guide me in um, coining hypotheses for my projects, and these have been so very helpful, and uh, she's very accessible anytime that you may want to discuss maybe a uh, certain concern or certain idea of yours, so which is very important as a graduate student. So she is very, very helpful. She has a very good mentoring skills, and she's always willing to help. For prospective students and postdoc, I'll say Terakova's lab is a very, very good lab to look into, and we are willing that and you see that um, your research interests align with us. So it's a very good place to, to learn and grow, and I'm very sure you will find the kind of research that interests you because we have area of research projects that are ongoing and also funded, and I would advise that they should come around and talk to people in the lab and see whether what we do actually align with them. And if, if that does, I, I guarantee them that they will have the best experience in our lab.